This is a short tutorial on how to use Noodle Tools correctly. Please pay attention to it so we don't have to have the same type of mistakes tomorrow. Now the first thing that we need to do is to go on to the FMS Humanities website. Now I'm just going to use Chrome, although we don't have Chrome in the computer lab. It's my favorite nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is open Chrome. I'm going to go here. I'm going to type Francisco Middle School. I'm going to click right here. And voila, I'm on the school's website. Now the next thing that we need to do is to be able to access Mr. Ciccatelli's project. This seemed to have been very confusing for people today. So first thing we do is pull down the library. We're going to choose in sixth grade projects. We're going to click on it. And we're going to open up Mr. Ciccatelli's project, project, Ancient Egypt. We're not going to open up the science fair projects. Click it like this. So the first thing that we need to do is to log into Noodle Tools. Now there's a serious amount of issues with that today. Shouldn't have been, but there was. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Noodle Tools. We're going to sign in. A lot of trouble with people today remembering what their names were and more importantly their passwords. Sign in because I remember mine. Click OK. And we are good to go. So the next step is to create side-by-side -side windows. And once again, this is very difficult for people today. So I need to do first is to shrink my window a little bit so I have a place to put the other one. And all they have to do is grab a hold of it here, drag it off to the side. I have side-by-side -side windows. How totally exciting. So now we're finally ready to actually take a couple of noodle notes. But before we actually take a couple of notes, I need to walk you through where the different tabs are located because people were having lots of trouble today. First tab is Daily Life. Inside of Daily Life, there's Homes, Women, Food and Diet, as well as Transportation. The next tab is the Art and Writing tab. There's writing, which has hieroglyphics, and there's also art. The next tab has military and pharaohs, which has government, military, soldiers, government officials, weapons, and on the right side there's pharaohs. The next tab has religion, pyramids, and mummies. There's a section with pyramids, there's a section with mummification, and there's a section with religion and gods. The right tab, which is video and games, is not a possibility for a project. There's useful stuff that you can look at when you're done, but nobody is doing a project on videos and games. So now I'm ready to actually create a noodle card, note card. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the sample Egypt project created and make a note card. and I'm going to click on New Note Card. Okay, we're going to pretend that my assignment is home. So I'm going to look in Daily Life. I'll open it. 
I'm going to look down here where it says the Egyptians housing. And I'm going to read the first paragraph to myself. There are no forests in Egypt, so wood is scarce and is not used for house building. The earliest inhabitants of Egypt lived in huts made from papyrus leaves. However, it was soon discovered that mud left behind after the annual flooding of the Nile could be made into bricks which could be used for building. Bricks were made by mixing mud and straw and leaving them in the, to dry in the sun. So what I want to do now is to copy this paragraph. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to press copy. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press paste. And I'm going to put for my title and main idea, houses. What I want to do is to open this back up. dragging it over here. It says, please wait. I'm going to slide this over so I can make it a little bit easier to read. See that I copied the paragraph, but there aren't any of my own words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and look at this. And the most important sentence in it is this. The earliest inhabitants of Egypt lived in huts made from papyrus reeds. So I'm going to put my summary right here, which is the first people of Egypt lived in huts made from papyrus reeds. Let's save it. And there you have it, a completed note card. Now that we've created one note card, we need to go ahead and create four more exactly the same way. When you're finished, your screen should look something like this, with five completed cards. That's all, folks.